to show you how easy it is to work with the characters and how to use them to provide feedback uh, to the learners, I'm going to build a quick call center demo and I'm going to try to do that all in less than five minutes. So uh, first thing we want to do is have a customer. So we've got our characters here. And I've got a customer. I'm just going to use this woman. You can see I've got a number of characters to choose from. There's 40. Uh, each character has expressions. And these expressions are built into the system so I can use triggers, which we'll do. I'm going to have her talking. And then the, we've got a number of poses. I'm going to have her on the phone. But I don't want this desk, so I'm going to show you what we do. So I've got my character here. I'm going to crop out the desk. So let's just go ahead and crop this. So we've got our character. I'm going to move her over here. Let's uh, scale this up a little. So she's going to say, um, I have a problem. And now she's talking to somebody, um, a customer service rep. So let's just do that. And on the customer service rep, we're just going to duplicate the character here. And all I'm going to do is swap them. So I'm going to click on the character. I can change my character. I'm going to choose this person here. I'm going to change her perspective so she's facing the other way. And um, I want to change her expression. So we're going to make her neutral so she's just listening. And I want her on a more of like a headset type phone. So we have that here. So we've got our character. I'm going to make her a little larger. And um, we'll just put her since she's the focal point. All right, let's create a little border to separate um, the call center person. So we'll just fill that with black. And let's uh, move that down here. OK, so that's good enough. So she has a problem. And you're going to have to make a decision here. You're the call center rep. So let's say one of the decisions or one of the things you could say to her is, uh, too bad, uh, that's part of life. Can't help her. And uh, I don't really want to help you, blah, blah, blah. So that's obviously not what the customer wants to hear, right? And I'm going to now copy this. And let's just say the other feedback you can say, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, how can I help? And so you've got two choices here. So let's go ahead and uh, add a choice button. So we're going to go to Insert. We're going to go to Button. And this is where you can see how the built-in character states work. So we'll say choice one is when I click this button, I want the state of this character to change to where she's angry and she's going to be alarmed. So uh, I just need a trigger on here. So I have my choice. Uh, buttons already have triggers, so I'm going to click on that. And the triggers in Storyline are always uh, what do you want to have happen or what do you want to do and then when do you want to do it. In this case, I want to change the state of this character. So the action is change the state of the character uh, from normal. I want to change her to angry. This is where those built-in expressions come in happy, handy when uh, she clicks on it. I'm also going to change the state of this character to alarmed. So all I can do is I, I can copy this trigger I just created. And then I'm going to paste it. So then I can just double click on here. I'm going to change the state of the second character to alarmed. And we've got that here. We hit OK. So that took us about two and a half minutes. We preview this. So now when I'm going through my scenario, I can make a choice. And look what happens to the character. So I can use that for feedback because I'm building those pre-built, using those pre-built states. Now this to me is one of the fun parts of Storyline. I want to have a choice too. So I'm just going to click choice two here, drag it. We'll duplicate the button. I duplicated the button, so I already have triggers. So now she's going to be happy, and we'll say she's happy. So I'm going to change this button trigger. I just go to the drop down here. I'm going to select happy, and then we'll also select happy um, for uh, this character. So now in about four minutes, or less than four minutes, let's preview this slide. I have a simple interaction that when I click here, this character is going to be angry, and here they're going to be happy. So you can see how that works. You've got these great characters. They're built in expressions. And you can use the triggers to dynamically uh, change the characters to build uh, pretty cool interactive scenarios and provide some feedback or visual feedback to the learners.